Hey, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA podcast. We are here at day two of the ESG Summit here in Oslo, Norway. Uh, very excited to be back for day two. It was a really intense, long, but really, really awesome day one. Um, and really, it's day three. You know you know how it works at these conferences. Uh, Monday, you know, there were some, some early pre-conference um, scheduling and events. Uh, so our third day here, um, but officially day two. And uh, yeah, we went to the networking reception yesterday evening for the TampNet one um, at the rooftop here, which was really beautiful as the sun was setting. Perfect timing. We had dinner on the water. Oh, I mean, so much fun. Yeah, lots to do here. I'm glad we've gotten to go out in the evenings, do a little bit of networking. It's been the perfect mix of kind of the daytime activities and then the networking as well. So yeah, absolutely. And of course, hopefully you all were with us yesterday when we, we went through uh, so many JSA TV interviews, heard from so many thought leaders in the industry about what they're doing with sustainability and their little corner of you know digital infrastructure. Um, there were also some amazing panel sessions. We that was one of the most common pieces of feedback that I kept hearing from people, um, and that we experienced as well was that the content at this conference is really really incredible. So um, and and really well attended. Like I feel like there's always a lot of people anytime there's a panel going on in the in the room across the across the hall from us here. Um, and so, you were over there yesterday. We yeah. have to say Candace was uh, moderating a panel panel yesterday about data centers in North America. So that was great. Yeah, it was quite lively. And a yeah. lot of people, you know, showed up and, you know, we got some good questions. So good audience engagement. So I think that just goes to show exactly what I was saying, really good content um, at the ESG Summit. So yeah, so and then as far as content goes, I think that's a good segue into the uh, content that we'll be providing you today with all of these additional JSA TVs. This was going to be our lighter day, I have to say. And oh so we gosh. keep getting more and more interest. So I feel like we've at, we've added twice as many interviews uh, to you. So yeah. you're you are all welcome for, yeah. <laughs> for the additional of content coming your way. We were actually almost late going live this morning because we've had so many people coming over and saying, hey, can we get on today? So we're going to be bringing you so much good content today. I think we've got even um, a little list here of what mm -hmm. we've been talking about, what we're going to be talking about. So we've got power dynamics and availability. Greenwashing was a huge topic yesterday. We were talking a lot about that. There was um, a panel um, going on, investment in sustainable projects, global regulatory frameworks, scope three emissions, something we kept hearing yesterday in our interviews as well, um, heat reuse in data centers, data center cooling, and so much more that was covered in panels um, and here on JSA TV. Yeah. So, and I'll just read a list of my own because I also want to have a list. <laughs> um, so we've got uh, a few companies coming at you today. So Clean Energy Capital, Edge Connects, Dan Foss, Vertiv, WSP, Horley, uh, DC Byte, TampNet, QIO Technologies, which is also Data Center Alliance, um, same representative. And uh, yeah, I think I think that's everyone, but I, I don't know. We've had several come up and ask to do interviews. So if we can sneak folks in, in between slots, then we will do that as well. So uh, we're we're excited to get started. So I think we should just go ahead and do that. We've got our first interview here in the room and I think we'll get him settled and, and kickstart the day. Absolutely. Yeah. And come see us if you're here. We are in the main hall. They're about to serve breakfast. So you can't miss us. We will see you soon.